A few showers and thunderstorms have already kicked off, and I'm tracking them here in the WRUF Weather Center. I'm UF meteorologist Jeff Hoffman. The complicated uh, upper level environment is proving difficult to pinpoint exactly where and when these showers and thunderstorms are developing. A little earlier hitting today, and I think they're still going to become quite widespread, although there's two notable triggering mechanisms. One is a sea breeze. You can see here on the satellite picture this morning, that sea breeze on the Gulf really kicked off the showers and thunderstorms. That complex will continue moving east and southeast, but the northern side may continue to fire some new cells up until drive time. Then right behind the banner here on our map, there's another complex developing an upper level pocket of energy that's going to slide across the Florida Georgia line and likely trigger some more cells near the I-10 corridor. And those are going to last well into the evening hours. So up until about six o'clock, this area in yellow, especially east and southeast of Gainesville, there's a slight chance for some severe weather. And then these new cells that fire up near Tallahassee and over toward Live Oak, we'll have to watch those carefully. It's questionable how far southeast they're going to hold together as we move past sunset uh, tonight. Now, that's just the beginning of an active period of weather. You can see here on Future Track, there's the progression of the sea breeze, and then here are the new cells that fire late this afternoon and this evening. Behind this is a cold front. It's not going to move through North Florida, but it's going to approach and stall just to the north and to the west of town. There'll be an updated story on this on WRUF.com slash weather on this website. You can actually see more about this very active period of weather that's heading in starting this weekend and lasting right through the 4th of July. We'll also have your 10-day forecast posted there as well. Stay with us.